We are all tired of losing in solo and dual rank games. Especially after this game, I wanted to give up. For those who don't understand what that means, it simply means you Avalon. I wasn't expecting that hook to happen, but it happened anyways. Sometimes, death happens for no reason, even in our daily lives. Our jungle missed the first objective, and he's still not present on this one. These are obvious poor jungler signs and should not happen in Mythical Glory. Ever since the early game, Fredrin was doing very well. Everything was driving towards victory. Miss the first, second turtle, and miss the red tree. That's why we love them picking the jungler rose. As mentioned before, Valia is an extremely good counter for Matisse, but it isn't the end of the story yet. Nice red tree there, the best jungler ever. Back up. 
Rudy was saying, Matisse is OP, but why play like this? But I think our jungler and marksman was the OP one. See, I'm not lying. A Sicilian solo killed an OP Brody, while Atlas initiated without getting a good look on his teammate's location. I'm starting to wonder, what is mythical glory? Is that worth our time for it? Does it even matter? But we love this game so slowly, it awake my senses, and I concluded. Look at how Valia's effects can allow Matisse to seem like he's useless. But it's actually not fully his fault. The whole time from here, I was noticing Gwyn's location. She's camping all the time, but the team wasn't aware of it. Okay. That's actually Gusha's job, but unfortunately he's not doing it. I emphasized countless times, as the entire time, I didn't see Guniver at all. Enemy Gwyn is very patient. Looking everywhere, she's not around. So there's only one place she's at. Look over there.
There was a ton of mistakes there, including myself. But all it takes to end the game was to take out the damage dealer, which is what Gwyneth did. But our marksman was too OP, even without Athena's shield, and Gushan's combo was just flawless. So I concluded, playing utility heroes like Valia or even tank junglers in solo ranks is not going to make it. The important roles as you can see are the damage dealers that deals decent damage in short time frames like Veil instead of Valia. Because those heroes can kill instantly, otherwise no matter how hard we try, if the damage dealers can't do their job well, it's just a waste of time.